take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, breathe in a wonderful feeling of calm and relaxation. And as you exhale, give permission to release any feelings of stress or tension, worries or anxiety. Relaxing your eyelids and with your eyes closed, able to focus on the sound of my voice. Breathing in and breathing out. Feeling good simply by slowing down that breathing. It's almost like as you slow your breath and deepen your breath, you're able to simply release anything that doesn't serve you. I want you to imagine a fluffy white cloud and just imagine that there it is up in the sky and even with gravity and even with all of that water it just hovers there defying gravity up there and I want you to get a sense that there's a feeling of lightness just like a fluffy white cloud in your head releasing any tension in your neck and your shoulders just feeling like it's floating there like a fluffy white cloud in a bright blue sky and that feeling of lightness ripples throughout every cell in your body so you can feel light and fresh and every now and then that fluffy white cloud can turn into a rain cloud and I want you to remember a time when you felt heavy with anger or stress frustration guilt or shame, any emotion at all, you just feel like you're that fluffy white cloud, but turning grey and dark there on the bottom. And as you breathe in and breathe out, just imagine floating, perhaps above the sea, and feeling it's okay to let go of all of those emotions. Just feel the rain start to fall, and before long, you're back to being that fluffy white cloud, light, and just floating there in the sky, guided to wherever you want to get to. And I want you to accept the suggestion that all emotions are temporary. And sometimes the easiest thing to do is to realize that these emotions are something that you have the ability to let go of. And that the moment you let go, you can feel light and floaty, able to move in the direction you want to go. I want you to get a sense then in the past, there's been feelings of overwhelm. And every now and then you felt that, what's the point? I'm feeling tired. I just need something. And I want you to recall all of those justifications you've used to eat poor quality food. And from this point forwards, there is only one valid justification to eat junk food or food high in sugar and that's because you actually choose to in the absence of any negative heavy emotions that you choose to simply because you want to and that's okay but if you're eating this processed food to try and make a bad feeling go away then all you're doing is rewarding 
your biology and biochemistry to give you more bad feelings. I want you to get a sense then. If there was a cockroach in your kitchen and you fed it a bit of cookie every time it come in, you'd be encouraging more cockroaches to come back again and again. And I want you to imagine those heavy emotions you've been holding on to. Every time you feed those heavy emotions something sugary or sweet, you're training your brain to give you more of those heavy emotions. But if every time you felt those heavy emotions, you were able to take a deep breath in and release that energy, to take a breath by going outside, maybe to move your body, just have a drink of water and dilute all of those emotions, knowing that they are temporary and they will disappear soon. Then because the heavy emotions go away, you're training your brain and your body to do more healthy things that make you feel good, that give you energy, vitality, confidence and self-esteem. So imagine being that cloud above the ocean, preferring to be a fluffy white cloud, but accepting that every now and then you will hold on to emotions that are temporary. And feel that by breathing in and breathing out, just because you choose to do so, you can let go of the emotions that you don't want to hold on to anymore. Feel the rain falling beneath you and feel light and floaty once more. From this point onwards, when faced with stress or frustration, you'll naturally turn to healthier coping mechanisms. Maybe that's talking to people or just getting support. That your emotional well-being is a priority and you choose to nourish your emotions with positive outlets like maybe journaling or creative expression. Maybe you get bored or frustrated. But there's so many things you can do to solve that problem that have nothing to do with food. And the moment that negative emotions arise, you almost feel an urge, not for food, but for nature. And nature doesn't have to be long walks in the forest. A lake or the ocean could just be looking at the petals of a flower, looking at the branches of a tree, or breathing fresh air. Perhaps every now and then you feel overwhelmed. But I wonder if you can remain overwhelmed when you take 10 deep breaths, deep calming breaths, Believing that you're breathing in resources and exhaling tension, stress and worries. That at the end of that tenth breath, perhaps you've let go of the feeling of overwhelm and opened a window into resourcefulness and empowerment. And I wonder what would happen... 10 years from now, if for 10 years drinking water was just a natural reflex to dilute any intense negative emotions. If you were lost in the desert, you'd give anything for a glass of cool water. But imagine, rather than just hydrating you, it was able to wash away and dilute any toxic emotions giving you a feeling of feeling refreshed, but also in control. I want you to get a sense that your intuition is guiding you towards those healthier choices, leading you to fulfilling activities that truly nurture your emotional needs, that from this point onwards, 
all those shoulds and have tos and need tos feel like they're coming from outside your body. And instead your inner dialogue is saying what you want to do, what you get to do, what you'd like to do, what you'd enjoy to do. I want you to get a sense that the most annoying voice you know will now be the voice that tries to goad you into emotionally eating, processed, toxic foods. And in doing so, the more they try to get you to eat those processed foods, the more you desire to do something else. Doing something, activate your breath. Talking to someone, even if it's just writing your thoughts into a piece of paper or into an app. Drinking water or doing exercise becomes the natural solution to trying to be goaded into eating unhealthy food. You are mindful of your body's signals, recognizing the difference between true hunger and emotional triggers. You are discerning in so many areas of your life. And from this point forward, you will be equally discerning when it comes to what is a genuine desire to eat sweet foods and what is just a coping strategy to deal with an unpleasant emotion. And you will find that empowerment in seeking healthier alternatives, knowing that you have that power to choose wisely draining the colour away from any thoughts of process and toxic foods and instead making foods like fruit and vegetables brightly coloured close up and super appealing your mind and body align in harmony as you listen to the wisdom of your body recognising its true needs and desires And with each positive choice, you nurture a loving and supportive relationship with yourself, fostering a deep sense of emotional balance and well-being. Feel like that cloud over the ocean and feel that by releasing rain, you get to feel lighter. And from this point onwards, by releasing any heavy emotions, you will feel lighter. Eating food will make you feel heavier. Releasing emotions will make you feel lighter. Because you want a future of feeling happy and light. More confident. Celebrating you and your positive choices. The idea of eating process toxic food for any other reason than you just genuinely want to is not a sufficiently good reason anymore so that annoying irritating voice can try as hard as they might the more they goad you into eating that unhealthy food the more they are accidentally steering you into those more rewarding more positive, healthy alternatives. And I want you to imagine seeing a future version of yourself at a time when perhaps you might be stressed and tired, overwhelmed and fatigued. See those heavy emotions coming on, but see that you deal with them in a different way. Acknowledge the emotions. Feel like you can get them out of you by talking to someone or getting it out of your head and that you can do something physical even if it's just breathing in and breathing out going outside or doing some exercise see yourself drinking water not just because you're thirsty but because it gives you that feeling of lightness 
imagining that when you drink water it dilutes any toxic energy and just like the cloud releasing the rain the next time you go to the toilet you will feel that that toxic energy those heavy emotions just leave your body just like rain falling from a cloud breathe in and breathe out feeling that you have more choices now to deal with the things that have triggered you in the past these triggers were accidental you will now create intentional triggers that move your life in the very direction you desire it as you breathe in and breathe out feel like you're no longer a cloud above the ocean you are you in your body feeling what you feel with more choices more options new ways of thinking that are actually helpful for you breathe in through your nose and out through your nose just wiggle your fingers wiggle your toes get a sense that you're in your body in this moment as i now count from one to ten to awaken you starting to count one two three waking up four five six more alert seven eight open your eyes open your eyes nine ten wide awake wide awake wide awake 10-11 